Hey guys, we'll do an update video from the last video we made on the blog. Okay, so the last day we did an update was over here on this day. Okay, we broke down this day right here. Okay, the outlook from this day was 737 was our upper level. There was 730 and then 737. Okay, so the result from this this day, this update, was basically this high right here. Okay, it did go about you know a point and a half above our 737 upper target, but it doesn't really matter. We're 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 kind of predicting the bigger move, so one or two points doesn't really matter. Um, so benefit of having upper targets is basically the result of what happened after this. Okay, so there's always going to be major and minor targets or I guess I should say minor targets within the major targets. The 730, 737, those were minor targets, okay, inside of the bigger target, which is 750. Okay, so that was noted back on this day. Okay, so as you're following, as you're following the markets, okay, um, if we retrace this move, okay, this is a 78% pullback. Okay, so it's it's not a surprise to have a 78% pullback here, right, to keep with the symmetry of the market. So even though over here, okay, it might look like we're making a, a lower high, okay, to actually go down, if you step back and you look at the bigger pattern, this level was a much bigger support, okay, and here... This is why we go over this every day with our members in the nightly videos. This was a major support as well. So this is really what says minimum that something might be changing, not something over here. Okay, and with the NQ, it completed, it completed a pattern on this bar yesterday. Okay, so... So once it completed, it, this level was never taken out yesterday. So you, sticking with the bigger direction off of this level, okay, we should see higher prices, just like on the Russell. And then during that move, there's always going to be minor waves within it. There's going to be minor and major levels of support. This was more of a major level. Okay, so we just want to we want to always follow the pattern and not let the fact that something on a minor level inside the bigger pattern looks weak or it potentially looks weak okay because the potentially looks weak is still way too soon to actually trade in that direction okay if we look at the daily chart you see the trend is up so nothing has been broken so to really try to take it short you would be trading a small time frame okay inside the daily that is nowhere near confirmed okay meaning if the daily pattern is up a three minute pattern that's bearish is not enough to actually turn the daily chart it's very very minor okay so the three minute might be in play for two hours you know maybe a day and a half so it so what I'm saying is maybe the three minute goes down for a day and a half Okay, but the question always is the smaller time frame going down into where? And it's into the bigger pattern support. And it's hard to see on this because it's basically been straight up. But pretty much all of these lows have been very calculated on a smaller chart. You just can't see them on a daily chart. Okay, so we still have 750 as our target. And that's actually one of the first targets on the major level. So it's it's not an ultimate target or anything like that. Okay, so um, we're approaching this last high, so it would be normal to hit the 750, pull back a little bit, okay, and then see what happens. Okay, but if you look at the NQ on the daily, we're way above this high. Okay, so it looks totally different. And it's much stronger. So taking out this high is important. If we take out this high, odds of this high minimum being tested but nowhere near being short yet. You know, I know everyone's trying to catch the top of all of these moves, but that's very dangerous. And catching the first move, you don't really under, 
know how big that move is going to be. And it's best to think it's going to be small to keep you out of trying to do it. Just like this move down, it was very small, right? All these moves have been small to the downside. Even this move might look big, but it's not relative to. Okay, so we'll look at really quick the three minute charts of the last couple of days. Um, we had blue bar highs up here. Okay, once the blue bars come in, start trailing the stop, you would have been taken out here. Did go a little bit higher, not interested in that. Okay, result of this came, comes down blue bar low. That was the low of day. Okay, into lunch, contraction, expansion up to the blue bars. Okay, so, um, and then we'll look at today. We basically gapped up blue bars here. Not much has happened since. Okay, um, look at the NQs really quick. NQs, same thing this morning, has blue bars. Basically same thing as Russell. Blue bars up here. Blue bars at this low from yesterday. Okay, so not so much interested in shorting back down to it. Okay, because the result is most likely support. Because And the bigger pattern is still up. So nothing is broken. Okay, so let's look at a 10 minute really quick. It's pretty sideways. Blue bars here at this low. Blue bars at this top. Follow it up. Um, there's a pretty big move on the gap there. So, um, so we're still watching for that 750 level. I just kind of want to explain a little bit more what we were looking at from this last update. How to, how, why we were looking at these levels.